Women, Women, UNFP, UNICEF, um, UNDP. And it's aimed at eliminating violence against women. I mean, the word speaks for itself, spotlight. Mm. You know, so it's like, let's throw the, you know, let's shine the light on this issue. Mm. And so it's, 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 it's a project aimed at that. You know, trying to tackle the issue of, uh, of violence against women. It has six pillars, basically six themes, uh, thematic areas. You know, law, policies, uh, movements building, service, and all of that. We are um, under the theme um, service delivery. Mm. You know, basically, how do we improve the service that survivors get? You know, we keep saying all the time that Victims of violence don't talk. Rape victims don't talk. They don't talk. And the question I keep asking all the time is, when they talk, what do you do? What happens to them? Is it that after this primary victimization, they go again and they are subjected to secondary victimization, where they even have to look for money to seek justice? Mm. So these are the things that make people sometimes say, I leave it to God. I'm not going to do it. So the Spotlight Initiative is aimed at, you know, just throwing this issue out there for everyone, you know, to come to terms with, to 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 to, to commit, you know, to uh, um, um, dealing with, you know, and the, the initiative works with government agencies and non-governmental organizations. Mm. Like in Lagos, there are five NGOs, you know, that are implementing it in Lagos, and Project Alert is one of the NGOs. And our component basically is building the capacity of civil society organizations, um, community-based organizations, associations, be them faith-based, be them professional um, associations, anyone and everyone. We all, it's not just something like that, oh, something happens. Okay, I'm going to direct you to Project Alert. If you are, at, if you are in Badagri, mm. if you are at Ikorodu, and someone in your community is raped, or a woman is being battered, there should be some minimum information you know and service you can render, referrals you can give. So that is what the component we are working on. So what you're referring to was the two days pre-commencement workshop we had, you know, to launch the project, to introduce projects a lot. I mean, we have been in the Lagos area for 20 years, so a lot of people know, but there are still some people who don't know us because Lagos is very big, mm. you know. So it was, th that was a pre-commencement workshop with stakeholders, state and non-state, that's government agencies and non-governmental organizations, to basically introduce the project and the components we are working on and the various activities we're going to be doing. Now, who and who did you have at that uh, workshop? Oh, we had everyone there. We had government agencies, the Minister of Women Affairs, Social Welfare, Commissioner of Police, the Police, NAPTIP, um, National Human Rights Commission, uh, traditional rulers, religious leaders, CBOs, NGOs, you know, everyone, every, I mean, like, I, I, the word I use is like, those present at that pre-commencement workshop were generals, mm. basically people who have troops, people who can go back and talk to their troops about this issue. Mm. So it was, an, I mean, we had persons with disabilities there, we had Jonah Pitt there. You know, so it was a very inclusive pre-commencement workshop. Mm.